Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my travel makeup bag video for 2019. I am so excited. My family and I are heading out of town. We're going on a cruise to the Bahamas and I cannot wait to leave this cold weather and head somewhere warm for a few days. So I thought I would go through and show you the products that I'm bringing with me because I always like watching these videos and I like just kind of updating you on my travel makeup essentials. Now, I am not a minimalist when it comes to traveling with makeup. I try not to weigh overpack like I used to like it used to bring like five palettes and all different choices and I think if that's what you want to do go for it if you have the room I mean there's nothing wrong with that but I try to only bring products that I think I will use honestly whenever I go on any type of beach vacation or we're going to be by the pool I don't wear makeup the majority of the time but because we're going on a cruise I think we're going to do some nicer dinners and I love wearing makeup I think it's so much fun it's so relaxing so I can't wait to actually do my makeup and like dress up and go out to dinner with my family, it will be really, really fun. So I did bring products for that reason, but the majority of the time I'll probably just be wearing sunscreen. So I put everything in here. This is a very large bag. Honestly, there's a ton of space in here. It's very, it's just like thrown in here haphazardly. I'll probably put my skincare in here and probably my toiletries. I think I can fit everything in this bag. But in the meantime, let's jump into it and I'll show you the makeup products that I decided to bring with me. So I did of course bring a sunscreen, which is a daily essential whether or not I'm wearing makeup. I'm currently using this one from Drunk Elephant. It is their sheer sunscreen. I also like the tinted one, but it's a little bit too dark for me right now. So I just find that this one has kind of been my go-to. As for palettes, I did bring a couple. I brought a main palette. I was really just going to stick with the Norvina palette because it has staple neutrals, but you also get some colorful shades. The only thing about this palette is that it doesn't really go deep enough for me. If I want to do more of like a dramatic smoky eye, I don't tend to get that with this palette, but it's probably what I'll wear the majority of the time when I am wearing makeup because it's a little bit lighter, a little bit softer. I also brought the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. It's just very small and compact, and honestly, I love using this. I use it multiple times a week, and I just love that there are really bright colors, some darker dramatic shades, so you can do a little bit more of a dramatic smoky eye with this palette. And then I'm bringing the Mar palette just as an extra because I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it, and because we're going to the beach, I just feel like it has kind of like a beachy vibe, and it would be really fun to use, especially the blue shades. So I threw that in my bag as well. So to keep myself a little bit more organized, I have smaller makeup bags inside the larger makeup bag. So in this one, I have lip products and eye products. I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is what I use to prime my eyes for eyeshadow application. And then I have two liquid liners. Obviously, one would cut it, but I did bring two. I have the Tarte Man Eater, which I think I'm almost done with. It recently started leaking on me, so I think I'll probably be done with it by the end of this trip but I love it because it's so dark and dramatic, but I'm also testing out the ColourPop liquid liner. This one is a felt tip liner, and so far I really like it, but because I'm in the process of testing it, I thought I would bring it with me and see how it holds up. Then I have my e.l.f. makeup remover pen, which I use to create a really sharp winged liner effect. And then I have a couple of Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencils. I just, I like having a few options depending on what eye look I'm doing. So I assume that I'll be doing either like a blue look with the Mar palette, more of like a gold look with some of the neutrals or a purple toned look with like the It's My Pleasure palette. So I've really been loving these pencils a lot. I just think they make so many beautiful colors. The one that I'll probably be reaching for the most though is the Charlotte Tilbury pencil. This one is just a nude pencil and it's kind of my go-to. It makes your eyes look really bright and awake. So as for mascara, I kind of feel like I should have got gotten a waterproof mascara, which I don't typically wear, but I'm bringing the Smashbox Super Fan. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry, but I use this as like a daily mascara to separate my lashes. I'm still kind of testing it out, but so far I really like it. And then I'm also bringing the It Cosmetics Superhero, which just helps me create really dramatic eye looks. So at night, or if I'm doing a smoky eye, I love this one because it makes my lashes look super dramatic and then I can just skip false lashes. For brows, I only have two products. I have the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Dark Brown, which is my go-to. Whether or not I choose to fill them in with a pencil beforehand, I always use this product. And then I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. 
This has been my go-to brow pencil lately. I really love this and I just saw that it's going to be on sale during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. So I am planning on grabbing one or two of them because I just, I love it. I wish it wasn't $21. There are some good affordable alternatives, but when I can get this one on sale, I grab it because I just find it very easy to work with and it looks really great on the brows. For lips, I'm bringing my ColourPop lippy pencils. I just brought a nude, a pink, and a red. And then I'm bringing my Fenty Gloss in the shade Fussy. This is probably the only lip color that I'll really wear, but I did bring a few others just in case. So I packed my Too Faced lipstick in the shade Send Nudes, which is my favorite nude lipstick ever. And then just in case I wanna do something a little bit more long lasting, I did bring two of the Pixi lipsticks. I chose a nude shade and a red shade. I think if I'm going to wear either one of them, I'll probably end up going with the red shade just because I've been so in love with this pixie lip color. It's very beautiful, it stays in place so well, but it's also very comfortable. So I think this would look really good with like super minimal eye makeup and just like a bold red lip. Okay, so moving on to face products, I think if you're going to think I overpacked, it will probably be in this category, but I just, I never know what type of look I want to go for, so I just, I don't mind sticking a few extra products in there because I don't have to fly, I don't have to weigh my bag or anything. So I'm bringing in the Smashbox Primerizer, which is my go-to face primer. I have that much left, like where my finger is, Right below it is how much I have left. I'm trying to use it up, so I just wanna continue to use that, and of course I love it. And then I'm currently testing out the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've only worn it once at the time that I'm filming this voiceover, and I really liked it, so, Whenever I travel, I always find that it's a good time to test out new products. Some people travel with their staples. I personally like staple products, but I also like testing new products because I'm kind of out of like my daily routine and it just gives me the chance to use them. So I will be testing this one out. I brought two foundations only because I've been mixing them together. I really don't wear them on their own, but I totally could. The Fenty foundation is more mattifying and more full coverage. It stays in place really well. And I wear the shade 150, but I've been mixing it with the Smashbox Studio Skin Hydrating Foundation. The Smashbox foundation is great on its own because it's very comfortable. It gives you good coverage, but it's it feels really lightweight on the skin and really hydrating but I love mixing them together. I think they balance each other out so well and they give your skin such a beautiful finish and they stay in place really well. And then for concealer, I brought the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Snow. This one is more full coverage, but it blends out easily. It almost like blurs your under eyes and it stays in place well, so I chose that one. And then I did bring the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This one is a loose mattifying setting powder. I always go in with this one, really no matter what time of year it is, because it just locks everything into place. And because my skin is so oily, I like to, you know, set everything with a matte powder so it stays in place well throughout the day. I probably don't need to bring this product, but I did pack the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Powder. I just figured if I wanted to do something more lightweight, I could just go in with the Smashbox foundation and then take this powder because it is more lightweight and not as mattifying and that would be a little bit more comfortable. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but I had the room so I figured I would just throw it in. And then I packed the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I had a mini bottle, so I just refilled it with my larger bottle and that will be perfect. I love having mini versions. I wish I had mini versions of everything. So in this makeup bag, I just have some cheek products. So I did include a couple of palettes because that way you get multiple options. If you wanna be more minimal, you can just choose one, but I like to have different options. I love doing my makeup, but it's fun to pair different cheek products with different eye looks. So I have this Hourglass palette. It has like a perfect blush no matter what I'm going for, and the Hourglass blushes are just very beautiful, very natural looking on the skin. And then I have my Flower Beauty Highlight Palette, which again, I have a different highlighter no matter what type of look I'm going for. And this is my favorite formula. So beautiful, so lightweight. I did bring the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette because I want to test it out. I haven't worn it yet, and I thought it would be fun to test it on vacation. There are so many beautiful colors in here. There are cream cheek products and also powder products and blushes and highlighters, and I just thought it would be a fun option to play with while I'm away and I have a little bit more time to sit down, experiment a little bit with my makeup. So as for bronzer, I brought the Becca bronzer. I'm trying to use this one up in 2019, but it's a great everyday bronzer. It's a little bit too warm toned. I thought it was going to be my go-to because I ran out of my 
bronzer from the balm i actually ended up repurchasing it i was going to try to hold off but this is the bronzer that i love the most it works as like a bronzer contour so i use this more so when i'm doing a more dramatic look and the becca bronzer when i'm just doing a very natural look and then last thing, I have the Too Faced It's Bananas Powder, which I use to brighten up underneath my under eyes. I don't use it every single day, but when I'm doing like a contoured look or I put too much blush on, this is a great option to kind of blend everything out. So in the back, I think I have like Q-tips, maybe tweezers. I will throw my makeup brushes in there and then probably like my skincare products as well because I do have a lot of room. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below which products you bring with you when you travel. Do you travel with like your staple essentials? Do you travel with products that are like minis or sample sizes? I would love to hear your thoughts, but I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.